Namaste my Phoenicians. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. My Phoenicians, today's reading is inspired by subscriber Rain Benton. Good day dear, namaste, toodles and all of that. Yes, my Phoenicians, I was pulled to the deck today because we need to talk about those back and front stabbers. Yes, that's right. Those back and front stabbers. They smile in your face. All the time they want to take your place. Back stabbers, front stabbers. Let's get the energy up for this read, yes? Let's get a quick card for the energy for this back and front stabbers. Yeah. Some of the most poisonous people come disguised as family and friends. Lovers. Confidence. Yeah. They are watching you build your stability, your foundation. They are seeing that you are standing strong. It also, they also see that you are wise. You are not the same Phoenician that these back and front stabbers thought they could, they could mess with. They're watching you stand strong. This is about your heart chakra being open. They try to corrupt your heart chakra. <laughs> yeah. These shadow people will be revealed today. We need to know who these back and front stabbers are. Let's go. What is the danger? What is the current situation my solution is facing? Look, I told you, Page of Swords. Okay, this is air energy. They're watching you. Immature energy gossiping about your malicious gossip. These people are gathering information like they're working, working for it. Like they're getting paid pentacap. They're doing it for free. They are doing it for free. Some more insight on this situation. What are they? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cards. I'll take the one that fell. Look. They're watching you build your stable foundation, a palace of coins. Mm-hmm. They're watching you achieve all of your earthly needs. I told you they're spying by any means necessary. All these cards are fell on the floor. I'm not going to take them. They are spying big time. These people are waiting and watching you build your stable foundation. They're waiting to strike. Why are they waiting to strike? Why are they still gathering information? because they're trying to move away from a toxic situation themselves. They are caught up in a toxic situation themselves and they don't like the fact that you are still coming out of your dark night of the soul life solution and you're coming through strong. You have what it takes to go the distance. You are endurance. I told you my Phoenician, you are Don Corleone Teflon. Okay. This is Aries energy. They're watching you move towards a more stable foundation. They're seeing, they're seeing, they're viewing you as though you now have the world in your hands. They're also not understanding how you was able to do this switcheroo, able to rise up and focus on your coint. And because you focused on your coin, divine is rewarding you. You are building your castle to the sky, my Phoenician. Okay. 
Okay, just get the FPs out. Oh, on the base of the FP, we've got Fork in the Road. Oh my gosh. Divine Feminine. You are in Divine Feminine Empress Boss Up Mode, whether you are male or female. This is why they are doing the stabation to the situation and can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's, let's cut these two decks. What else is the danger of this situation? Look, loyalty in the reverse. These people are coming to you with false masks on, <laughs> pretending, to pre pretending to be loyal, okay? They are Decepticons. These people are not transforming. They are low vibing. Look, they've got Dharma in, they're coming with them, bad juju karma. Because they are going through bad karma right now, okay? divine retribution right now they want to come and rub that shizne off on you because it seems like you are like the peter pan in their eyes it's like you've done a benjamin buttons up in this shit they've expected you to crumble and break my Phoenician, i know that at some point Folks had called 45 minutes on you in the divine ER. Yes, they did, my Phoenicians. They thought you was dead, 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 but uh -uh. divine had another plan because you focused on yourself. You are being offered this palace in the sky, this palace of Penticali, where there will be true loyalty, true, true stability, true foundation. The back front stubber can't level up they can't, they can't understand how comes they got all of this bad juju on them and you're going through worse and you're still coming out smelling of roses mm -hmm. divine feminine you already showed out your face okay let me give this a good shift in. next question is who is this backstabber who is it? Who is it? Who are they? Kiss could say. You gotta speak in French now. Who is this backstabber? Who is the backstabber? Someone pretending to be an emperor, someone pretending to be a boss. Okay. Somebody that's pretending to be abundant. Yeah. This person is Libra energy. Empress energy is also um, water energy as well as Venus energy. Okay. This person has a lack of confidence. They're also going through some kind of loss. It could, they could, they could be portraying that they've lost a baby. But it's not a loss of a baby. This person aborted the baby. So therefore it's a female. The backstabber is a female. We're getting it narrow now. My solutions. Move in. Pause me. Get your wine. Get your five. Get your popcorn. It's a female. We've got Libra energy now. The plot thickens. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey. This person. Okay. This person, my Phoenician, has been working hard at studying you, okay? This is your doppelganger of the 3D. This person, this person has been educating and researching themselves on you because they do see you as the Empress. I told you this already. They see you in, in boss up mode. They've seen you come out of your dark night of the soul and focus on something new, a new project. It could be, um, um, you could be educating yourself on, on whatever it is, whatever your field is, something caught your attention and it, it created an awakening in you. And this awakening took your focus off of whatever was causing your dark night of the soul and pushed you into focusing on your coint and your pentacle. And they are, this is how they watch you. Look at the eyes. That's 
them on social media. So they're watching. They're watching you build your empire. You are the cornerstone of your dynasty right now, my Phoenician. This is about you understanding that knowledge is power. And this is you educating yourself on all levels to the knowledge which is bringing you the most financial return. Let's get an FP up on this. What else can you tell me about this female backstabber? We also have um, Virgo energy. Libra energy. We've also got Saturn here. This person is mad, big mad that you've managed to stabilize yourself. Any more information on the backstabber? Front stabber? Look, this person is pretending. They are pretending. You need, you need to take a good 360 around you, my Phoenician, at this moment in time. I fully understand that we are in quarantine. But your, your way showers, your ancestors, your spiritual guides... Call on them and these people will be revealed, right? This person pretends to be good. They pretend to be always um, putting others, others before themselves, but they are self-serving, okay? They, what, they, they are angry, right, my Phoenician, that you put on um, law, 25 of the 48 laws of power in action you recreated yourself right and while you was recreating yourself my Phoenician you also activated law number three of the 48 laws of power you concealed your intentions and and the, the funny part about it you didn't conceal it because you was being nefarious, you concealed it because you didn't even know yourself. You, were, I'm telling you, whoever this person that put you in that dark night of the soul, that this female person, this female front backstabber that you have around you, okay, that put, this person that put you in a dark night of the soul, they took you down big time. That was definitely a narcissist. This person learned you as this front backstabber is still learning you and they're copying you. They ain't even real, the real, um, they're, they're what? You have to call them Fuchi Gucci. Yeah, never be the real deal. Always something not quite, not quite right. Just a little bit off. Yeah. Does my Phoenician have an ally. Why is this in there? Look what fell out again. You are definitely at a spiritual fork in the road, my Phoenician. We've been through the 444 portal on the 4th of April 2020. Divine is telling you to deal with the situation with your spiritual eyes. Does my Phoenician have an ally against this backstabber, frontstabber? We have the world card in reverse, okay? The world card is represented by fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. No, you don't have any ally in this situation at this moment in time. And um, the world card is also represented by arm. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as well as Saturn, Saturn, which is about your stability and your security. You have no ally. I am, I'm getting the impression that you are your strongest ally at this moment in time. But as I say, you say, look, Ace of Wands, this passionate new beginning, okay, with the world card in reverse, this is telling me that It would be foolish for you to take on an ally at this point, okay? Wands is represented by um, you having the willpower and the drive to stand in your spiritual strength, 
you don't need another three deer with their issues and their dark, their bad karma to mess up where you are in your journey at this moment in time. You are your strongest ally. Divine is telling you that you need to continue to be tap into your creativity. The ones is fire energy. The strongest thing you have right now, my, my Phoenician, is that Divine has granted you, this is your ally, your new beginning. Because within that new beginning, because you are being divided by, by, you are being guided by the Divine and you are trusting in spirit. Your dreams are going to come into reality, my Phoenician. Your strongest ally right now is yourself. What did Beyonce say? Me, myself, and I. That's all I have in the end. That's what I found out. Yeah. Power of the three. Divine is also telling you to mistrust the actions of others. Look what just fell out. The tree of life because you've been gifted with a spiritual download upgrade. You have, you got them eyes now. You got them old eyes like Livy. Yeah. You've been gifted, right, with an upgrade mind, body, and spirit, my Phoenician. You have the full 360 of the whole situation. Or you're getting it now as we speak, as we converse. On the base of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is represented by um, Cancer Energy as well as Mercury Energy. This is about you being able to enjoy, enjoy the fruits of this passionate new creative beginning that you are stabilizing on your own. Divine is telling you to mistrust others coming in because they will be like a third party on your shizne now because you and the divine are the two of cups together. Anybody else coming around right now, view them with mistrust because you made it along this path, this path to rebirth by yourself. We have the hangman. This is about you viewing things from a different perspective. It was facing the light of ones. This is about you standing in your spiritual strength. And when you do look back at the past or look back at this back front stabber, you'll be looking at them with fresh eyes. And you'll be like, I made it. I got away from them. You need to get away from these toxic people ASAP. What's the ghost on the screen? What's the goss on the streets? This person is chatting you, okay? They are bringing your business to anybody that will listen. Big time communication. This is um, Aquarius energy, okay? This person is, is, is spinning the most malicious lies against you. This is also telling me that my Phoenician, you need to be careful of self-sabotaging yourself. Why should you be giving a fig knock what anybody thinks out there in them streets when you have the father on your side, your ancestors, your, your way showers, your spiritual guides that you can call on at any time? And ever, whenever you feel confused, turn to Psalm 91. <laughs> What is the goss on the streets? Okay. This 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 female person, this this back front stabber is extremely deceptive and sneaky. Okay. And you have to you have to weed them out. As I said, it's Aquarius energy also. Because this person is a blessing blocker. We already saw the, the reversed karma, the reversed dharma. 
karmic retribution that they're going through right now. That's why their hungry eyes are on you. Their hungry eyes and their lying lips. We have the Ten of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This is about Sat this is also Saturn energy. Okay. Divine is telling you to put down the burden of what you, you may or may not think. You need to decide right now to cut off all the energy that you've been putting into that situation. Or even into thinking what's going on out there in them streets. Because all it's going to do is hurt your heart, right? And put you back into an indecisive state. What else about putting down this burden? What's going to happen if my solution blocks it out? Just stops giving it the, the energy. Stops it. That's a lot of cards. We've got the Three of Cups. This is Cancer and uh, Mercury energy. We have the Four of Wands, which is Aries, as well as Venus. And we also have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also see Libra and... Um, Scorpio on the card as well. Um, Divine is telling you about this gossip. You need to be indifferent to whatever's being said out there. Okay? You need to be indifferent because at this moment in time, you are building your own stable foundation. You're 11-11. And because you are focusing on yourself, my Phoenician, you are calling in um, a partner. It is a knight. It's not a king and it's not an emperor. And you know how I feel about the kings and the emperors. But this is a knight of cups. This is somebody who um, wants to romance you. What? Is this person coming in? Is this a Decepticon coming in? We have the Tower card. This could, this could speak of a rude awakening. The Tower is represented by Mars as well as Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well as the King of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The High Priestess. And the Five of Cups. Let me just look at this. I just said, is this person coming in? That is being called, called in, being drawn in, okay? Is it a Decepticon? We have the Tower card here. This is about realisation. It could also be about self-realisation. Because this person coming in, they are not... They are coming in. But it's not... But it's not based... They're not coming in because of the gossip. They're coming in because they have true feelings for you. Okay, you have someone coming in to offer you the two of cups because you focused on yourself, my Phoenician. And divine is telling you again stop self sabotaging yourself, put down the burden of what's being said or isn't being said. That is not your business. Okay, your business is to continue to be intuitively guided. Okay, to not let what's being said out in there in them streets put you in a five of cups state where you're feeling sad and lonely and depressed. Divine is telling you that we have the high priestess. The high priestess is represented by water energy as well as our um, moon energy. This is about you tapping into your higher power. This is about you using your discernment. And this is also about you not tarring this person. This um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio person, the King of Cups also has yeah, Pisces on him, right? This is about you not tarring this person with the same feathers. Oh, let me get an FP on this. more info on this gossip in the streets what did I just say love yourself continue to put yourself first pour into yourself mind your own business continue doing what you're doing building on your palace of Pentecali because you're fertile this is again the representation of the empress 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is the unknown solution to this back type of front type of problem? The wheel. The fates of setting of destiny. Okay, the wheel is turning in your favor. Okay. The wheel is represented by Jupiter as well as fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Jupiter is as I, as I said is the planet of fate, destiny, and good luck. Okay. The fates have stepped in, and it's showing that you are being gifted, right, with emotional stability. You are also being gifted with downloads in your dreams, upgrades in your dreams, in your sleep. This is about you. Um this solution is for you to continue to keep moving forward because that, that forward motion for you, my Phoenician, is blessed and highly favoured. You are being going to be blessed financially because Jupiter is around abundance and expansion. The Palace of Cups also says that you need to... Um, Take time, the quiet times, because that is when you will be getting spiritual messages. This is about you um, being disciplined in those quiet times. This is about you meditating. Because in that meditation, through that discipline of the meditation, that's Pisces and Aquarius energy. You will be given downloaded the solution to this this situation because we have the justice card in reverse the justice is libra energy karmic retribution is going to be dealt to these back and front stuff i already told you this and look we have the card again to say what's going on you see when karma is being delivered to these back front stabbers they're not going to get a menu, you know. They're just like, oh, get it. They are just going to get it. For all of the disharmony, the dishonesty, okay? The lies that they've been telling. They've, they've had your name in them screens with these falsehoods, with their shadow self disturbing your balance. Around the land. Yeah. Putting out all them falsehoods about you. And in some cases, they've been initiating um, bad juju, spell work. I told you. But you are a divine healer, my Phoenician. You are protected. That is your spirit. You see all them rays? That's your spiritual team. You see that, that, that bird there? That's your higher self, always at your side. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, final word of advice. We're going to use the Making Magic Oracle deck for the final advice. Final advice for my Phoenicians in this backstabber, frontstabber situation. Any final advice for my Phoenician? In this insight. It says opens the third eye to strengthen intuition i told you continue to tap into your divine power we saw the high priestess because through meditation and deep deep um considerations with the divine you'll build your spiritual armor and you'll be given the best way in which to deal with this back front tower Yeah. You're going to be seeing some red flag. Put my teeth back in. You're going to be seeing some red flags. Can you see the smoke coming around the red flag? You're going to be getting some signs over the next few days pertaining to who the red herring is, who the cuckoo in your nest is. Okay? Told you. Message! You're going to get those red flags within the next few days. Right? 
Because you're what? You are a good Samaritan, my Phoenician. And you deserve the FYI. Hey! Because you are, you are able to physically attract whatever you need. I told you, divine is on your side. Divine didn't make you strong for nothing. Continue to be a good Samaritan and share that blessing. Help uplift other Phoenicians. Everybody's at a different stage in their journey. And on that, that is, that was the front stabber, back stabber read. Okay, thank you very much for your bookings and donation. It helps to support the channel because I'm, I, I try to put out as much content as I can to help you guys out. Also, if you require a personal read from me, all of my information is in the description box below. Please hit the, the um, like, share, share this message with whomsoever you feel needs it and subscribe because it helps with the algorithm, helps me put this message out to more of my Phoenicians. And as I always say, from the ashes, baby, namaste.